guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm in Dollar Tree right now, looking through all of their fall things, just, just to see what they have new, anything new, so if I buy anything, Okay guys, the only thing that I did pick up was this cute little fall sign. Thought it was cute. A little cute pumpkin on it. And these little blessed uh, checkered, whatever you, I forgot what you call, how do you call these, but these blessed kitchen towels. And that was all for right now because they just didn't have anything good. I was kind of disappointed. So they told me to check next Friday and um, maybe they'll have something else, but morning guys can't talk too loud I'm at the ER hospital I brought my husband in to see the doctor because uh, he's got some really bad back pain and he may have an infection in the back so if you guys could pray for him I really would appreciate it but yeah I'm sitting here and there's not a soul in this place you guys I should show you what it looks like Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. As you guys can see, there are nobody in these seats. As we're waiting to see a doctor right now. I'm looking at Grandpa Rock. <laughs> Let's 
say hi. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's in pain, you guys, so. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do today. This is Friday, by the way. And um, it doesn't look like we're going to be waiting a long time at all, which is very, very good. I'm wearing my glasses in case you guys are wondering why why do I have my glasses on inside of this hospital because it's so bright in here it is so bright and my eyes are kind of sensitive to the brightness and my eyes are burning right now so that's why I said I'm gonna put mine on and hubby has his on just and there's also a lady in here that has hers on so but I hope you guys can hear me. I just don't want to talk too loud. Hopefully we'll be seen very soon. I'm going to let you guys see his back. See what it looks like. Not to be too gross, but just to let you guys see it. You probably don't want to, but anyway. Okay, you guys. See what it looks like? It looks nasty. I know. Sorry, I didn't mean to gross you guys out. But we don't really know what happened. Um, this has been going on for about a week now. He was starting to complain about his back feels really strange and the skin feels really tight. And then it, one thing led to another. It developed and developed and just got worse and worse. And you know, we went to, um, we didn't go. We actually called the primary care doctor to see if we, if we can get an appointment today. But you know, they refused to see him. It's not that they refused to see him. It's just that they said something about um, the doctor leaves early and I think the nurse part practitioner, whatever they call it, um, she doesn't have any available appointments. And I got on the phone and I said, look, we're not asking for an appointment. We're asking for you to let him in. It doesn't have to be an appointment. He needs to have his back checked out. And then the lady's going to ask me, well, why haven't you gone to the emergency room? And I'm like, well, I didn't tell her this, but I should have said, because it's not technically a true emergency, but it's, it's bad enough where he needs to be seen. You know, if that makes any sense. But some of these uh, young girls at these doctor's offices, they're just lame. It's just, um, I don't know, they're not that professional. They, they don't show that they care. I'm sucking a mint, by the way. But yeah, they don't show that they have enough compassion for people, you know, for their patients. You know, they'll say something like, um, yeah, you know, just kind of like laid back words and phrases instead of saying, something like oh you know what i'm gonna see what i can do to try to help you you know maybe we can do this or, you know nothing like that it's just kind of like just let you go so we're here and i hope that it's not a long long wait there's only a few people here on the side on this side the side where i was talking to you guys in the beginning there was no one except for a man that was sitting behind me and you probably saw him. But um, anyway, what are you guys going to be doing for the weekend? I don't think I'm going to be doing anything. At least I don't know. Um, last weekend, we went to see uh, the movie Brian Banks. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it was good. It was good. It was sad. It was a good ending. It was a true story. I don't want to tell you about it, but... Um, you just have to go check it out because I don't want to say anything about it. But I'm not gonna have any dogs. Hmm? Speaker. You're not gonna what? I'm not gonna have any dogs. Speaker. Have who on speaker? The needle. Oh. Well, I'm gonna yeah. get off of it. No. Anyway, guys, I'm wrapped up. It's cold in this hospital. Let me show you guys what I got on me. This big old blanket. See. <laughs> Hey, the doctor is in the house. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, this is the patient coming back from the hallway. 
Still waiting for the doctor to come in. At least we're in a room, you guys. So, oh boy. I think I should go take a potty break myself. It's always a long wait in these hospitals. Mm hmm. Always a long wait. Good grief. So the young mom is what I thought. You're going to inject it. Did she say anything about inject? I mean, you know. Lidocaine. I don't know what that is. I ain't paying his numbers. Ooh. Then they're going to pack it. Oh, okay. And then they go back two to three days. Mm hmm. You know. Oh, you can just hold it. I get it. Okay. Well, I hope when you come back in two or three days, or three days, most likely, I yeah. hope that is no long wait no, just no. to have this done. Oh. Because yeah. we. We were expecting you to just come in today and get this taken care of, leave, and not have to return. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because, uh, they'll see. Whatever they know, man. He can feel when that press too hard or mm -hmm. shit. Because this baby bad boy hurts him for his arm. Yeah. It burns. Well, they probably won't press it too hard. Just like mm -hmm. a little bit, just to feel. 12.33 p.m. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, hopefully the doctor is pleasant, has a very caring personality, you know, good bedside manners, because some of these doctors are just, ugh. Yes, the nurse just came in, and she was explaining the situation to me. She said I had a deeper infection instead of the whitehead. Called cellulitis. Called, yes, called cellu cellulitis. Cellulitis. Oh, shit. <laughs> Black man, my tongue don't go that Oh, way. my goodness. Anyway, but uh, it had that, and it just it, it gave me some kind of like bacteria cream and uh, antibiotics. And uh, do I have to call it in? I mean, do I have to get a paper? Mm, they're going to give yeah. it to you. Before they're going to give you a prescription. Yeah, they don't call prescriptions in at the hospital. Oh, okay. Not so normally. So before we leave, she's going to give it to you? Somebody's going to give it to you. So I got to stay I'm going to pee. But anyway, yeah. folks, that's, uh, that's all I can say. I'm just, uh, I'm extremely pay at pain. <laughs> I'm telling you. And Aaron says, why not? We should. No, we shouldn't. Oh, All right, guys. God. Hold on a moment. Okay, well, you heard what the hubby said. So, looks they gave him a shot in his arm, which he didn't tell you guys that. They gave him a shot, and then they gave him some type of an, um, antibacterial or antibiotic. Yeah, it's like a cream and I'm gonna to have to put that on his back three times a day and um, cover it with this gauze, put some tape around it. So I'm gonna be a nurse. <laughs> I'm Nurse Liz and Aaron will be Nurse Aaron because times I don't do it, you know, he can do it too. So anyway, oh boy, and I've got a headache. We haven't been in this hospital that long. I have to say about, let me see, 10.30. Got here about 10.30ish, and it's almost 2 o'clock. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good considering times in the past. We'd be here for hours and hours and hours, half the day. So after we leave here, we just first of all, we're just waiting for a prescription. Then we're going to leave. I'm going to drop him off at home, probably. And then i got to go pick up Aaron from school. And then head on home. Get start dinner. So, and I don't know what I'm going to eat. Probably some fruit and nuts. Probably some watermelon. Oh, man. We thought we were ready to leave. He's got to get his back clean. They have to do something to it. Let me show you guys what they're going to be doing. No. 
He said, you cannot leave until they clean your back. I said, okay. Yeah, the nurse said, you cannot leave until they clean your back. So this is all the stuff they're going to be using, guys. Doctor. Doctor said that. So it looks like that's latex something. Yeah, because I'm going to have a gauze. I guess that's gauze right there. This is some sodium. How you say it? Sodium chloride solution. Um, I'm not gonna touch any of these bottles, and I think that's some stuff to put on there. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I think I know what it is. It's kind of red, and you rub it on. It probably sterilizes and cleans the bag. That's probably what it is. Cleaning solution. Yeah. And then this is like a cure red. Oh Lord, I can't see it. But anyway. Yes, you can. If you can't get in to see your doctor, you can come back here. That's fine. Okay. Um, and especially if it gets worse or anything, we can, uh -huh. you know, definitely come back in and we can take a look at it. Okay. Because if it gets worse, it may have to be lanced and drained. Right. right. Now, when we come back, does he have to sit for hours just to do all that and waiting? Mm, depends on where they're Or is there a way we can make an appointment? No, the appointments don't really don't oh. have to do anything except for this side over. Oh, wow. Um, but you know, the mornings are usually the best time. That's cool. Yeah. Occasionally, we're busy in the mornings. But so, what so if you do come back, you have to check in and go through the triage process again. And then oh they'll send God. you over to this side if they feel it's okay to be seen over here. And oh. then it'll just be the same as before. You'll just have to wait. Okay, um, so just tell them we're here to, for the doctor to Yeah, just tell them that you were back. here for a follow-up. Follow-up, okay. People coming down, walking down the aisle. So yes, everybody, thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm gonna talk to you guys later, and um, you guys have a great uh, weekend. I'm gonna try to get this video up at least by tomorrow, which is Saturday. So hopefully. You know, you'll have something to see. All right, talk to you later.